Hello everyone, this is Jeff of Tau Flare Mouse. I wanted to create a shotgun slug that left a very long, dense vapor trail. A transfer pipette works really well. It's the perfect size for a 12 gauge shotgun, so I put one ounce of lead shot in it. Then to keep the lead shot in place, I packed it full of cotton. And this will act like a reservoir on a Zippo lighter and hold our propylene glycol and dye mixture. We end up with a large lead slug that's nose heavy and we'll load this into the shell backwards so that the G-Shock is slamming against the lead and not the liquid side. After all, liquids aren't compressible so if we loaded it in liquid side first, it, it would just burst like a bullet hitting a water jug. Our first shot will be only about 20 yards. This is kind of a proving shot. Proves that the round will fly accurately at a short range and it proves that Darren can shoot. Beautiful. So far so good. At this range these rounds appear to be somewhat accurate. Yeah, it blasted it. The round went into the wood and then it blasted out of the side of it. Kind of a weird shot. Next we'll shoot these things at about 70 yards at the truck door. And one more shot just for good measures. Hit it. Oh yeah. I saw a cloud coming out of that thing. Uh, a lot more power. And now for the fun part, watching the high speed footage and seeing what's happening with these rounds. The round takes a short distance to flip around and start flying straight and emitting that vapor cloud. So far so good, the round survived being shot and Darren nailed that thing right in the center. In this shot, the round started emitting that vapor cloud much sooner and we used a yellow dye this time instead of the red dye. The round acted a lot like a frangible round, penetrating the wood about three inches and then just blowing out the side of the block. We probably would have had similar vaporizing results if we used a vegetable glycerin or olive oil or whatever. I don't think the difference would have been that dramatic. At 70 yards the round is a little bit hinky. Not as bad as we thought it was. You know, it, it just missed the door by a couple feet, but a couple feet may as well be a couple miles. The round actually traveled about 200 yards and the entire trip it left that beautiful pink vapor cloud and that was what we were hoping to get. Now you can see some of the lead shot hitting around the door and the capsule probably blew out and leaked some of the shot out throwing it off balance and that attributed to why it wasn't very accurate. Although the last shot was kind of a failure it worked exactly how we wanted it to. It's a failure because the end of the the plastic tube probably blew off and you can see a lot of the cotton being dispersed in the air but the lead shot stayed in that little plastic tip of it and made it all the way to the truck door at 70 yards. Here you can see the shockwave traveling across the ground which is traveling at the speed of sound right but the round itself is going faster than that so we're definitely going at pretty high velocities here. The little piece that actually hit the door didn't do much damage just left a little dent. We were able to put enough fluid in these rounds to leave a vapor trail at such a long distance and I think that's pretty cool. 